Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, the magnetic field intensity in a certain conductive medium is H is equal to xy square ax plus x square z ay minus y square z az amperes per meter. A part is asking, calculate the current density at point P. B part is asking, partial derivative of rho v with respect to t at P is equal to what? Okay, now let's go ahead and do the A part. A part is asking for the current density. Current density J is given by del cross H. Here we have the H. So we can just cross it with the del operator and see what we get. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that. Del cross H. And if you cross that one, that's going to be the current density. Okay, now let's go ahead and do that. Here we have AX, AY, AZ. Del is basically partial derivative. So we have to take the partial derivative with respect to AX, partial derivative with respect to Y, partial derivative with respect to Z. And then H has X, Y, Z components. So we have to write H, X, H, Y, and H, Z. Now we have to do the determinant method in order to do the cross product. So determinant is basically we put plus minus plus, And when we take AX, all the vertical and the horizontal part of this one will be eliminated and we will have only this one. For 2 by 2 matrix you know that when we have A, B, C, D we do the, the determinant is going to be A, D minus B, Z, right? So the same thing goes here. We have to do the A, D minus pattern like this one multiplies minus the other side, right? So here we are going to have parcel derivative of H, C with respect to y if I cross this one and minus the other side so this is going to be what partial derivative of h y with respect to z so this is this side so we have to do the same thing this is and we have to ax this is the ax component so when we do the ay we eliminate all the vertical and horizontal part of it and uh, this these are the four things that's going to remain let's box this box this one with a different color so these are the four things that's going to remind. For this one, we have to do the AD minus BC pattern. So it goes like that. Now let's go ahead and do that. So for the second one, we have to put a minus. Okay, or we can flip around. If you want to put the plus, you have to do the opposite way. Like if you put minus, the first thing has to be HZ. But if you put a plus, the first thing has to be HX. Right, you do the opposite way. Both we are correct so instead of minus what I do I put the plus right here and switch the order so here we are going to have partial derivative of hx with respect to z because I cross this way first for this one we have to do the ad minus bz since we have negative I do the opposite first and minus the other one minus partial derivative of hc with respect to x ay and the next one is Partial derivative of h y with respect to x. So if I take the z component, okay, with respect to x, h y with respect to x minus partial derivative of h x with respect to y in the a z component. Now we have all these things, and uh, we just have to simplify and plug the values. We have this. This is our h x component and this is h y and this is h z all we have to do is just plug this h h z h y h x with with these components okay now let's go ahead and do that so here we are going to have if i write this one it's going to be a long list let's continue here so first we have partial derivative h z h z is what this part y square negative y square z so we are going to have partial derivative with respect to y negative y square z and then it just goes like that you have to copy everything like partial hx instead of hx you plug this one and hc you plug this one and then hx you plug this one so you just try to plug all the hx hy hz and find the derivative it's going to be a long list. I, I just avoid that part and write the final answer, okay? So let's get rid of this one. So after you plug this one and then you have to take the derivative. 
with respect to the respective values and if you do that finally you will end up with negative 2yz minus x square plus 0 minus 0 if you look at this y is this one 0 if you look at hx hx has x y square we are taking the derivative with respect to z since we don't have any z this is a constant so that's why we have 0 for this one this is hc with respect to x if you look at the c component we have y square z we don't have any x here so that's a constant and if you take the derivative of constant that's give us 0 that's why we got 0 right here so this is a x component a y and the next thing is 2xz minus 2xy 2xy Two x y and then a z. Okay, so we have x y z components, and if we simplify this one, since this is zero, we can simplify this one furthermore and write it in a better way. So we have all of them are we are doing del cross h. Okay, so this is going to become negative two y z minus x square a x plus 2xz minus 2xy 2xy az and that's it after that we just have to plug the value we have we are looking at the current density at point p2 minus minus 1 3 and del cross h is the current density so this is the equation we are going to have all we have to do is just plug the points p2 negative 1 3 so x is 2, y is negative 1, z is 3. After you plug this one, you are going to end up with 2ax, 2ax plus 16az. So this is going to be the final answer. And this is this is the j, because there is, j is del cross h. And this is what we got for final answer. This is for the a part. Now let's look at the b part. b part is asking what is the derivative of rho v with respect to t at at p so let's see how to do that okay in order to do this one we have to know an equation that is given by that equation is given by del j is equal to negative partial derivative, uh, derivative of rho v with respect to t if we rearrange, we are interested in this part alone, this derivative of rho v with respect to t. So we have to move this negative to the other side. So finally we can write derivative of rho v with respect to t is equal to negative del j. Okay. Del is derivative. So we have to take the partial derivative with respect to x, partial, partial derivative with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to z for the j, current density. That's what it's saying. And it's negative partial derivative ne negative sign we had to put a negative sign in front and we had to take the derivative of this one with respect to x y z here you can already see there's no y component so y is already zero so we just start worry about this x and z component now let's go ahead and do the derivative so we have to take so del j del j first let's calculate del j then we can put the negative sign so del j is going to be what partial derivative with respect to x and the x component of this one is negative 2yz minus x square in the ax direction let's forget about the direction for now and then here we have 2xz this is z component so partial derivative with respect to z y is 0 so we don't have to we don't have any y component so we don't have to worry about that one let's go ahead and do that so this is what 2xz minus 2xy and uh, if you take the derivative of this one with respect to x this is going to become negative 2x and if you take the derivative with res this one with respect to z this is going to be 0 this z is going to be 1 so this is going to be plus 2x so minus 2x plus 2x that's going to be 0 so this if del j is 0 then negative del j also 0 so the answer for this question is going to be just 0 
So for part B, the answer is derivative of rho v with respect to t is going to be 0. And that's the final answer. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.